in render stacks 1.06, we added two P modifier for Corona renderer, the Corona override material and the Corona render selected. We actually had exact two same P modifier for V-Day in initial release, but this is for Corona renderer. It does exact same thing with exact same UI. So it will control the Corona renderer's render override section and the render selected section. This is original render and let's try the Corona Override material first. So we can switch to all, that means we will override every single object in the scene. So this button is the material, override material you want to override with. So if you click the button and then there's a few method, few different methods to get the material. I usually put in a classic editor slot and get from classic material to active slot so white light is here so if i preview obviously it will be all white if i switch to object and layer you can choose any of render stacks uh object selection method so layer set layer selection set pass name whatever so i will use layer t pass so if i render it all the t path in the t path layer will be override so if you switch to exclude, then except those will get override. So if you preview, so it kind of like a reverse. And then there's a object ID, you can do object ID too. So these three tipat has a object ID one, two, three, and this torus and the box at the four. So let's say I do two, four, four, include, then two, three, four will get override materials. Or you can, if you reverse it, then other than that, it will get that override material. And the last material, so this is a unique feature of render stacks. You can actually drive by material on object. So let's say if we choose that material, then include. The only object has the material will get override. So, of course, it has to be only the root material on the object. You cannot choose like a sub object material, but you can actually select object by the material on the object. So, Corona render selected exactly the same, but it just said what to render. So, if it's up, then it will render everything, but let's say object layer and I say I wanna I wanna only render tubes. So and as you see it only render tubes. So basically it's like a mad object. Basically it makes all mad it except that object and as you see all the GI or all those lighting is kept. So I actually recommend to use this instead of like a mad property or not it's your choice but that's what it does let only render selected and then you can do again object id object to three let's only render that and two and three and then again you can do by material too so let's say green and wall green wall paint so those object Okay, so object with these two root material is rendered, and then if you again directly reverse it to exclude, then all other objects will get rendered.